crap, what happened to my computer this time? It's saying select game one to six. I hate the blue screen of death. Oh wait, I'm on the Coleco controller here. Alright, let's hit a button and see what happens. Alright, Qbert! I love this game! This is Qbert for the ColecoVision. Now if you don't know this game, well, <laughs> you gotta know this game. Why should I talk about that, you know? It's Qbert. You hop on a different pyramid squares, you change the color, and you avoid the enemies and stuff. Basically anything that's orange and purple, you gotta avoid it. Because it's trying to kill you and stuff. Ah, It's one thing I don't like about Qbert. <laughs> yeah, when you're close to the top out there, something falls down at you, you barely have any time to react. So you could lose a lot of lives fast that way. But it's still a fun game. And the Coleco version here is very faithful. I think the only difference is you don't see his eyes. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's almost like his head is hollow or something. But this still plays great. Here I'm using the original ColecoVision controller and it feels awesome. Parker Brothers were really great at translating these cool classic arcade games home. They also made games like Popeye, Montezuma's Revenge, Frogger, all these great games that you can find on different systems like the Intellivision, Coleco, Atari 2600, 5200. What else did they make? I don't want to say Popeye. Yeah, it's Popeye. Holy shit. <laughs> As you can see, the enemies get much more aggressive later on. Okay. Oh yeah, power up! Okay, come on, you stupid snake. Yep, jump off the edge! Ah, stupid snake. <laughs> oh, it's intense, but I love it. Oh no. Yep. So nice you gotta do it twice. Oh. <laughs> this is where the game really catch you in the balls. Yeah. There are six different difficulties in the game, but all of them are challenging. And look at that green asshole. Yeah, he's actually changing the colors on me. The colors that I worked so hard to get. <sighs> okay, get the green one. But you can touch the green things, but you can't touch anything that's orange and purple. Again, other than the fact that Huber doesn't have any eyes, this is still a great conversion. And I give, yeah, the ColecoVision version of Cubert here a very high. Yeah. 81 out of 100. It's that good. Okay, you want some? Yep, jump off the edge. How can you hate Cubert? I wish there were more games about Cubert. They say there's a sucker born every minute, and I'm a sucker for Cubert. <laughs> oh, oh, you. Quit doing that! Bye.